Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to day 17. We are doing a nice focused class today on our hips and hamstrings. I've got my props, my strap and my blocks today, but you're gonna need just a little bit of space to move for sure and let's get started. So let's begin today laying down. You can have your uh, blocks off to the side, have your strap close by in case you like to use it, and then lay on down. You can make a diamond shape with your legs if you'd like. Close your eyes. And let's just take three nice, slow, deep breath to help us settle in. To slow down our day. To tune into our bodies. So take a nice, deep inhale. And let it go. Take another nice, deep inhale. And let it go. One more, the deepest breath you've taken all day. And let it go. And slowly bring your knees together so your feet are planted on your mat. Your right leg can start to lift up. If you want to add your strap, go for it. Find the length through the leg, the hamstring, the calf. Maybe send your left leg out long, encouraging your toes towards your forehead. Find your breath again. Just notice how your right hamstring is feeling so far today. Maybe it's feeling a little tight. Take one more breath. And then slowly release and switch sides. Left foot can lift. Strap or no strap. Right leg could go out long. And just find that sweet spot where you get that awesome stretch through your hamstring, through your calf, maybe the bottom of your foot and your ankle is getting some love. You flex your foot, sending your heel up. Take one more breath. And then you can start to bend your leg. Take your strap off of your foot. You can place it off to the side. Maybe rock your knees side to side a few times. Give your low back a massage. We're going to come all the way up into tabletop though. So either rock forwards or roll to the side. You can have your strap close by at the top of your mat in case you want to use it later. If you want to add your blocks, you can add your blocks on either side of your mat. We're going to be setting up our lunch. Sinking into our hips. Finding that hip flexor. Let your chest maybe rest on your front knee. Maybe sink your hips a little bit more forwards and down. Maybe you are going to scoot your front foot a little bit further towards the top of your mat so that it's right underneath your front knee. Let's take another breath here. And then you can slowly start to send your hips back. Find your half split, point your toes up, drop your chest. Maybe your blocks are useful, maybe you don't need them. Find your half split. Lengthening that right leg. Oh. 
Awesome work, you guys. Using an inhale, bend back into your front knee, into your lunge. Then you can start to heel toe your foot over to the right side for your lizard. Turn your toes out, let your knee fall out. Bring your hands under your shoulders on your blocks or just your mat. Maybe pushing into the top of your back foot, lift your knee, take the weight out of your knee, and then drop it down. Sink into your hips more and more. If you wanted to come down onto your forearms, you could do that too. And then we can also bend our back leg again, add our quad stretch in. Left hand can find the edge of your mat. Turn your chest to the right, reach back for your foot with your strap or maybe your hand can catch your foot. Continue to let your hips sink forwards and down. You might be looking behind you or you might actually start to look forwards. If you've got your back leg bent, slowly let it go. Move your strap to the side if you're using it. Heel toe your foot back to the middle of your mat and you can start to send your hips back again. Give those hips a nice break. Find your half split again. Except this time you can stay in your half split or where our knees kind of over top of our our back knee, or our hips, sorry, over top of our back knee. If you wanted to kind of walk your foot, your front foot a little further away, this could come more into a, maybe a three quarter split. You might point your toes up again, and now our hips are kind of sinking forwards. Nice to have blocks to hold you up or just have your hands on your mat. But you could also, again, push into the top of your back foot Take some weight off the knee. Maybe you're gonna scoot your foot a little further away. A little rock of the heel sometimes. <laughs> it can be a little sticky. Sinking into the hips. Nice job, you guys. Take another moment here. Maybe you're gonna drop your chest. And then lift back up. And if you slid your foot a little further away, maybe you can slide it back in, then bend your knee into your lunge, and we can find tabletop from here. Bring your right knee to your mat, take a nice rock of the hips, shake things out, and when you're ready to switch sides, our left foot will come forwards, set up our lunge. And maybe checking in that your front heel is underneath your knee, sinking those hips forwards and down. Just find your breath. Send your breath into your hips. Soften through your jaw and your shoulders. Take one more breath here. Awesome, you guys. You can slowly start to send your hips back for your half split. Maybe pointing your toes up. Maybe dropping your chest. Stay for another breath here and let the inhale send you back into your lunge. You can heel toe your foot to the left side, set up your lizard, sink into those hips again, maybe lift the back knee for a moment and rest it back down. Maybe lower your chest onto your forearms. <clears throat> Just send your breath into your hips. Feel your body fill up as you inhale and soften as you exhale. 
And if you want to add your back leg, your quad into this, you can bring your right hand out to the edge of your mat. Use your strap or catch your foot with your hands and sink into the hips again. Maybe trying to pull that left shoulder forwards. Maybe that brings your heel a little closer towards your hip. Awesome, you guys, gentle as you let your back leg go back out long and heel toe your foot back to the middle of your mat too when you're ready. And find your half splits one last time today. Stay in the half splits or you could start to send your foot a little further away, your hips forwards a little bit more. You decide what feels good on your hips, on your hamstrings, on your body. Breathing into the legs. Maybe tipping your chest down. Maybe keeping your chest lifted. And slowly start to bring your front foot back in if you did slide it out. And then bend your knee again back into your lunge. You can find your tabletop again. Give your hips a nice rock side to side. And then just crossing your ankles so that you can sit down. Bringing the soles of your feet together, your knees out wide. Take an inhale to lengthen through your spine and an exhale to tip forwards. Continue to breathe into the hips. into the legs. And letting an inhale lift you back up. You can bring your knees back together. Give yourself a hug, a rock side to sign. And then we'll make our way in just a comfy seat. Awesome, you guys. It was short. It was sweet. That is all that I have for you today. Thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. And until then, namaste.